More problems for a local doggy daycare. We're learning a dog ran away from Pet University the same weekend another pet died there. Casey Geraldo talking to the owners who say they are too worried to go back. This started with Coco's story, how he died from blood loss with puncture wounds and crushed ribs. His owners say they were told he died of old age, but Pet U says they never lied and are changing their ways. Today we're hearing from another pet owner who says the same weekend Coco died, her dog ran away from Pet U. Okay, you're okay. German Shepherd Collie Allie's owner calls this walk one of a dog with arthritis, but Allie's only six. She wasn't able to walk. She was limping. She was crying. Her fur was a mess. She had burrs all over. This is how the family says Allie was returned to them after a stay at Pet University on Howell. Kristen Iceland is the second upset dog owner from this weekend. She says she was shocked to hear about Coco, the dog who died in pet use care. I can't believe that somehow a dog would have gotten killed there. And then I was like, well, if that was this weekend, that's the same time my dog was there. Iceland tells today's TMJ4 Pet U didn't have a clear story about how her dog got out and refused to refund her money or pay the vet bills she has. Things just were not adding up. I mean, I'm glad that my dog, at least I got her back, but she definitely could have gotten hit by a car and I could be in the same situation as the other family. So we went to pet you this morning trying to get answers. I have to ask you if you can't be here. Or at least find out what the owners meant in a statement saying they, quote, have put in place even more precautionary measures to ensure our client's safety. We talked to some, some pet owners that have had some bad experiences. I just want to give them the chance to talk about changes that are being made. They refused to talk. Maddox Executive Director Karen Sparapini confirms Allie came in around midnight Saturday and returned to Pet U Sunday. She says it's not uncommon for dogs to get away from pet sitters or even for pet sitters to abandon dogs at Maddox because they're too much work.